Felix Auger-Aliassime versus Rafa Nadal is a second group stage match for these guys for the 2022 ATP Finals. And both guys are coming off disappointing performances in their first matches. Rafa started the year off at number six in the world after missing most of 2021 due to injury. And after winning two slams to start the year and a bunch of other titles, he settled in at number two in the world heading into these finals. Again, it was an injury plague season, so Rafa didn't play that many matches winning 38 and losing six. So not as many matches as probably some of the younger, younger guys, but he did make the most of his time on court, winning four out of five finals that he played, including the Australian Open, an event in Melbourne before the Australian Open, Acapulco, and of course the French Open, but has been on and off the court with injury since then. His best win, beating the world number one Novak Djokovic at the French Open in one of the best matches of the tournament. And his worst loss was actually in Cincinnati against Borna Choric, who was 152 in the world at the time. Now we all know Choric went on to win that tournament. Maybe in hindsight, not his worst loss, but still, by ranking, it is the lowest player that Rafa has lost to this season. FAA started the year at number 11 in the world, and after a late season run, ended the year at number 6 to get to the finals. His win-loss record for the season was 56 wins, 25 losses, so he was very active on the tour, winning four out of the finals that he played, finally breaking that title drought, winning Rotterdam at the start of the year, and then going back to back to back, winning Florence, Antwerp, and Basel to really cap off breakout season. His best win of the year was against the world number one Alcaraz in Basel. He also beat Alcaraz another time in the Davis Cup earlier, just after the US Open, but his worst loss was against the number 205 Van Rijthoven in Holland. Now, Van Rijthoven did have a good season and ended up winning that tournament so maybe it wasn't such a bad loss in hindsight these guys have only played the twice before with their last meeting being at the french open with felix taking rafa to five sets rafa eventually winning that one six three in the fifth this is the first time these guys will actually be playing on a hard court if felix is going to win this one he needs to eliminate the errors there were so many errors against casper Ruud. he needs to play a lot better and a lot cleaner the serve was working well though so he needs to serve well but he needs to eliminate those errors and even come to the net and be a little bit more aggressive as well if rafa's going to win this one he needs to serve well but he also needs to eliminate errors as well. That was a big thing that happened with Fritz. The forehand was just completely off. So Rafa needs to find his pace. He might even need to stand a little bit closer to the baseline and push FAA around because he was getting pushed around a lot against Fritz and the court speed being fast wasn't very good for Rafa. This is going to be very fun to see because we did see these guys play a five-set epic at the French Open. Rafa won that one on that day, but this is going to be interesting on the hard courts, the fast hard courts. I'm going to go with Felix. I reckon FAA is going to get the win. I think the conditions suit him a bit better and the way that Fritz was able to manhandle Rafa in the first round match, I think that FA is going to do the same. Use the forehand, use the serve, and I think Phil is going to get the win. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this matchup?